This story was about a gruesome murder incident, dating back decades, somewhere in India, where the spirit of the dead guy, came to the police station to file a complaint against a certain person and mentioned the whereabouts of the dead body. The in-charge did not believe anything initially, but he noted down the name of the guy. Strangely, he only gave his nickname and left hurriedly. Besides, the in-charge noticed, this guy looked like he came straight up from some physical scuffle. Later, giving the man the benefit of doubt, the in-charge did search in the abandoned hewn pipes near some beach as mentioned by the mysterious guy. The details were uncanny and matched exactly with what that person had said. And finally, the police found remnants of human body. The perplexed in-charge immediately called on a search operation for this late-night informant and that other person, about whom, this night visitor complained. When the accused was caught, the police asked about his partner in crime, the informant. Accused was in strong denial that he had no company but was curious to know about that mysterious person who complained about him. The police gave him a vague description of that informant and the accused was extremely shocked. Police noticed that, and in no time made him sing the truth. He confessed that he killed the victim alone that night, and dumped the body into a hewn pipe near a beach. There was no one else with him. Police was still trying to get details of that mysterious informant and possible partner of the captive accused. More than his crime, the accused was dead scared about the informant. The criminal said that the description of the informant the police was giving is that of the deceased victim itself. The police in charge was also perplexed about the way things are unraveling at this point. Later, as investigation progressed, police found out that the nickname registered by the informant was the nickname of the dead victim. On the night of the murder, victim was wearing the same clothes which the mystery guy wore who reported to the police. The killer and the victim were friends, who fought over some money they had won in gambling. Victim verbally abused the killer, and the latter in a fit of rage and under the influence of heavy alcohol, killed his friend. The accused who was the actual perpetrator was kept in lockup. Later, he was mercilessly beaten up by some invisible force. It was witnessed by a few constables and lockup inmates. This happened in a row for three nights at a particular time.